Um, the Raiders. Um, I don't know where to start with the Raiders, man. The, the Raiders, um, one minute they look like a playoff contender, not even dark horse, just like maybe even even tickle some people's ears and say that they, maybe they were a Super Bowl contender. Um, John Gruden finally got the team together. They're winning. They're beating some of the best teams in the NFL. They got revenge on the Dolphins. You know, they're, they're just overcoming a lot of big hurdles, and then Gruden happens, right? I'm not going to go into detail that. We all know what happened. Gruden happens, right, with the emails. And then Henry Ruggs happens. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking for all parties involved. He made a young man who's very positive off the field, made a very bad mistake, you know, um, and then there's another young man who supposedly I think he pulled a gun on. So I don't know the full Damian, story. Damian Arnett, yeah, yeah, that happens. Bonehead move. So just a lot of distractions, man. They, they have a coach in there who wasn't the coach there to be. I mean, he was a coach on the team, but you know he, he's he's filling in right now for uh, um, you know for for Coach Gruden and stuff like that. And coach Gruden, he's he's not coming back. You know, they're even talking about a lawsuit. I mean, there's a lot of distractions off the field. So I want to open up the, the conversation here, Mike. What can the Las Vegas Raiders do to repair this team? Whether it's this year, off season, Mike, what can they do? They're, they're, they're in the bottom of the barrel as far as reputation right now. Yeah, man. I think um, tough for Rich Basakia. I think that's how you pronounce his name, the new Raiders head coach. Mm -hmm. But some of this stuff, a lot of the reporting coming out of Las Vegas going into this stuff is just like Gruden always ruled with like an iron fist. The players didn't like him because of that. Um, there was a lot of players that were like relieved when he left. There's kind of all accounts. Uh, Josh Jacobs said a few things about it as well. But um, I think the positive of Gruden being there is you knew for a fact there was going to be discipline on that team, right? It might have not yeah. been the best handled and all that. But I feel like Rich Basakia, Rich Basakia is how you pronounce his name, I believe. Yeah. Um, he is more of a player's coach. But with that, the team, they don't have that same maybe accountability that they did before, right? So I feel like um, having, again, Deshaun Jackson, uh, and I call, I think I called that in our chat, right? I said uh, you did call Deshaun that, Jackson yeah. is going to be a Raider. Like it just made too Ms. much Cleo sense. Man. Right? But like <laughs> he signed with them. Uh, now the question I have is can Derek Carr really get him the ball? Because he couldn't get Henry Rubs the ball, and Henry Rubs was actually way quicker than Deshaun Jackson, and that's saying something. Can he get them the ball, right? Yeah. But they also really need wide receivers. That was a weakness going in. So I think what they're going to have to do to really get this together is change their offense a little bit, get healthy, and stop throwing Darren Wall the ball 27 times a game. Like the, the, yeah. There's defenses who literally do not have to fear – haven't had to fear their receivers. The yeah. only people they feel or fear is Darren Waller and Josh Jacobs – and David Carr is going to – or Derek Carr, rather, is going to dink and dunk, right? So yeah. I feel like uh, getting D-Jack in there to kind of stretch the field and then continuing to add pieces to their defense, um, really locking in their line a little bit more. The line isn't as good as it was last year, but they're younger, and I think long-term that could set them up. But I just think some more experience and then a coach that has confidence in Carr, right? Because yeah. there's been this thing with Carr for years, man, and like – is he our quarterback? Is he not our quarterback? Can we upgrade? Can we not? And there's just been so much noise. It's impossible for that not to affect them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so you bring up some really great points, Mike. Um, and shout out to uh, our other co-host, uh, Miss Adrian Campbell. Uh, they signed Deshaun Jackson. I think that's a great move. He adds uh, depth. Um, not depth. I mean, the guy's not coming to starter. You know what I mean? So we, we know what Deshaun Jackson brings to the table, man. Uh, they could even definitely get a few extra wins with him there. Um, but I think time heals all wounds, man. Uh, I, I know a lot of people that are like, oh, Raiders, it, it, it hurts their reputation and all this stuff. But you, you don't want that. You know, you don't want a coach who's, I mean, you pull up anybody's email, you're going to find some really wild stuff, granted, you know. Um, and, and rugs, that was just a really unfortunate thing. And 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 as far as the other young man, there's knuckleheads on every NFL roster. I don't care if you're the New England Patriots, man. There's young, young men, you know, don't matter where they're from and – you get someone a, a, a millions of dollars, you know, they're not always going to make the best decisions. You know what I mean? Not realize the opportunity that that's in front of them. Uh, but needless to say, man, I, I think the repairing uh, comes in due time. You know what I mean? When, when I saw Derek Carr take and give that conference on how he's always going to take and be there and he's going to show that with his actions for Henry Ruggs, um, I got choked up, man, because you don't often see that. You know, number right. one, a, a, a man of God who – who has that kind of compassion. There's a lot of self-righteousness in today's society. 
Uh, Mike, you and I had a political conversation like an hour before we, we shot this. And there's a lot of self-righteousness on all different spectrums and viewpoints, right? And I'm uh, not saying everybody's like that, but there, there, it's a lot of it that's out there. So to see somebody with that kind of humility lead your locker room, lead your football team, that's what you want. You, you want that. Uh, is this coach going to work out? We'll see. You know, uh, hey, this is this is also a great time for Raiders fans because – you have a lot of the pieces of the puzzle, but man, you just right. got kicked right in the stomach by Jean Claude Van Damme. And it's going to be tough to come back from some of these losses. Gruden was a loss. Ruggs, huge loss. You know, he may never even play football again, yet alone. Uh, I don't even want to say it, man. I, I, I just, man, I pray for all pe- parties involved. But at the end of the day, I think, uh, you know, time heals all wounds. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know uh, what your thoughts are, ultimately. On the return, 100 for the touchdown. King crown, gain inside, leading your town. Hit you faster than the sound. Bad boy, throw it down. Yeah, I'm ill, not my will. Don't cop a fill, fill the house. Listen to the warm crowd. Drop a like, calm it down. Heisman, all the haters mouth. Superhero, hit them wow. Packing more action than bing, boom, bam, pow. Touchdown for the win. We live, subscribe right now. Hey.